what I've witnessed was Daryl Issa very carefully setting up the next witness. This next witness was referred to by the two people who testified today, a woman named Hoffaker and a gentleman who recently retired from the IRS named Carter Hall. What everybody missed was that ISA was preparing for the next witness. The chief counsel of the IRS who was appointed by Barack Obama whose specialty was is tax exempt organizations. There's no news there's no news about this. Nobody's covering it except Fox mentioned it. And their only reference to this hearing today was the spat going on between Isa and Cummings. They can't get along. It looks too partisan. That's not what I took away from watching it myself. What I saw was Daryl Isa keeping the peace, being respectful, very patiently. This is his M.O. This is what he always does. He's not belligerent. He's not in your face. He doesn't fight with the ranking member of the committee, Cummings. This was the only story that Fox could mention. As if they're brain dead, they don't see that coming soon is Obama's insider who has been a supporter of financial contributor to Obama for years. He helped the Reverend Wright get his tax-exempt status and he was willing to do it pro bono for free. Obama appointed him chief counsel in the IRS. He is one of two political appointees inside the IRS and he is at the nexus of this Tea Party targeting and his name is Wilkins, William Wilkins. Nobody got that. Nobody got that. So I guess I am your new reporter. I am the ace reporter of the world. I'm the only one who saw it. I'm the only one looking forward to the testimony of William Wilkins, Obama's insider in the IRS, on whose shelves, not on his desk, but on whose shelves the Tea Party applications were placed to gather dust.